What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Joe Saban, thanks for tuning in. And this video, we're going camping. We just arrived here at Camp Mugra uh, on Lake Mugra. We've all driven in this morning, so we've got the whole family. Got me and Dylan here now. The girls are down swimming. Dad's at the gliding field. Jess is on her way from uni. And now we've just set up camp and we're all sorted and we're gonna go have some fun. set up here I'm ready to go under the cover because it's, uh, it's a bit hot so I don't want the sun baking down onto it but we're gonna have a swim and then we might get the boat out all right so everyone's heading back down to the water now we're all lunched up can of wakeboard we uh, forgot, or well, I forgot, to bring uh, the ski handle and rope, so I just <laughs> randomly made one up out of a stick that I found. I got, heap, got heaps of rope in the boat, so that'll work. Dylan's now wakeboarded, the girls are now wakeboarded, Jess is hardly wakeboarded, so this could just be lots of just pulling people around the water. The boat's not the best wakeboard behind ground either. It's a bit hard to get up on the plane while trying to tow someone, but we'll see how we go, hey? So we've just come in from some wakeboarding, been skirting wakeboarding, uh, the other guy's been stand up paddleboarding, things like that. We've come in, it's quarter past five, so we're gonna 
start settling down. Got the boat, boat anchored out for the night, just off the thing. It's a lake, so I don't have to worry about tide or any of that. Just hopefully the wind doesn't pick up too much. But that'll be right sitting there till the morning. Went really well, actually. It was really good for towing and scurfing, or better than I thought it was going to be. Wakeboarding's a bit hard to get up, so it's going to be a bit hard for the guys to learn to do it behind this boat, but we'll give it a go tomorrow. Got plenty of fuel, so... But yeah, beautiful day. Sun's starting to go down. Jess and Dylan are up here. Mum and one of the girls has gone to get Dad from the gliding field because he's just landed, so he's ready to come and join us. And we'll get uh, some dinner on. fly in the nest, leaving the camp to explore new grounds over the other side of the dam, uh, lake, not dam, and uh, there's a rock like gorge sort of anchorage thing that we're going to go and explore. It's a decent paddle, but it's pretty flat, so we should be right. Let's paddle over. Made it into our little uh, lagoon. Dylan's getting the last second board up onto the uh, the rocks. But yeah, just big cliffs either side. Nice quiet waters, nice and calm, no wind. It's good. I'll have a little bit of explore, I think. Kids chucking uh, me bombies over here. I think someone just nailed it a good old uh, belly flop. Sounded pretty harsh. I think this side is a bit too, you no, know, it's not steep enough to jump off. <laughs> Can't jump that far. <laughs> yeah, now it seems another direction. What the heck? It's fighting us both ways. <laughs> Over to the little cove me and Dan, me and Dylan paddled to before. Jess is towing out the back on the sup because there's too many people in the boat. So she keeps falling off, so they're taking their time. But they're heading over there. We're just uh, exploring the dam. Once we got here, <laughs> we watched the rest of my family just suddenly they went in and it started raining and they peered straight back out and we're just darting back across the lake to get back to the camp. So it's looking pretty uh pretty nice down there at the moment, pretty pretty, but uh definitely we want to get back to the camp because we think like the fly is open on Dylan's tent uh swag. So we're gonna get back there, but yeah, pretty gorgeous looking dam. So 
we got back to camp and she's fairly precipitating. <laughs> Dylan's catching some water. The swag was too late for it, it's already soaking wet. So he's bunking with someone else tonight. <laughs> but we're we're filling up. After a full day of recording, the cameras uh, needed some charging that evening, so I didn't get any camera footage, but these are some shots of the sunset that I got uh, on the Canon that evening before we get back into the footage of the next day. So now it's Monday morning. Whoa, I can't undo that. Alright, so it's Monday morning now. We've just woken up, had breakfast, trying to fuel up the boat again. Uh, today we're just going to be towing in the morning, and this afternoon we're packing up, and uh, sort of midday ish, I think, and then we'll uh, head out to some mountains or some lookout or something Dad was talking about. We'll go and see that. And then we're heading to the gliding field for our uh, last night tonight. And then early in the morning we'll pack up and head home. So last day today and last little stint out in the water right now. So last time we need to fuel up. We haven't burned through that much, which is good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... about a 5 out of 10 for that one, not bad, not bad. draws this video to a close guys thanks for watching we did uh, end up at the end of the day we headed out to a mountain and we drove up there but I'm not showing it in this video because we're gonna do another video up there later on where you'll get to see it in more detail so I don't want to not do it justice in this video so that's all we're gonna have for this video is the lake footage which I hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy it please remember to leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe thanks guys see you later